There's um, lots of sea lions um, around Stewart Island and more and more turning up on the mainland. Um, so people are going to encounter them more and more on beaches. One of the things we want to avoid is conflict between people and sea lions. So if you get approached by a sea lion, the best thing you can do is, well you've got two options. One is to walk away, um, the other is to just put something like a bag between you and the sea lion. Quite often they're just curious and they just want to see what's going on. They'll have a sniff and carry on. Sometimes you'll get ones that are quite persistent, like this little guy. He wants to interact. He wants to play and these guys play fight like dogs do. But um, they've got big sharp teeth and um, it's something that you just don't want to engage with. Also, it's not good for them. If they engage with people a lot, then they're putting themselves at risk. Um, so the best thing is put something between you and the sea lion. It reassures you and it gives them that personal space, lets them check out what it is you are. If they chase you, um, again, keep something between you and them and just walk away. Try not to engage. Um, a bit like dogs, don't stare at them. Um, if there's a group of people, um, you can get one person to do this. Just keep them occupied while the other people walk away. Eventually, they will lose interest. But um, the other option is just turn around and go back. You know, you've always got the option. You don't have to walk along that beach. You don't have to be where this guy is. Often they're coming up on beaches to rest. Um, sometimes if there's a group of them, they come up to play. If they're resting, it's that old um, adage of let sleeping dogs lie. If they're asleep or they're just lying there, keep a good safe 20 metres away from them, go around them. The difference between these guys and fur seals is that you can get between these guys in the sea. It doesn't matter which side of the animal you're on, they'll react the same way. With fur seals, the fur seals have got a little pointy nose and they're, they're quite sort of fuzzy all over. Um, fur seals, they do tend to panic and just want to run to the sea. Um, and if you're in the way, they'll, they'll just go straight over the top of you. Um, these guys, they're, um, they're not as scared. They, like I said, they just want to interact. Generally, generally the great big ones, they'll, they'll show very little interest. It's, it's these curious teenagers that, um, that are full of bravado um, and like any teenager, they don't have that fear. They don't have that idea of sort of action and reaction. You know, they're quite uh, an imposing thing to have on a beach. You know, the, these big bulls, when, when this guy gets, grows up, um, he, he might get up to 400 kilos and get a huge big mane like a lion and be a very physically imposing animal. You know, even now, if he was a dog that size, you know, and was acting this way, you, you'd be out of here, you'd have nothing to do with them. If you encounter them in the water, um, if you encounter a young male like this, a big black guy, um, the best thing is not to make eye contact. Is again, just, just be boring. Um, females are usually curious and playful, um, and they'll want to come and interact. Again, you know, they're, they're big animals, they're wild animals. Um, they're, they're not someone's pet dog that you can play with. Um, so, let, okay, it's fine if they want to interact, but um, if they're showing any aggression, and that is swimming past with their mouths open or blowing bubbles in your face, um, the best thing is just to quietly move away. Um, keep an eye on them, but don't, don't stare in their eyes, because like a dog, that's, that's, that's a challenge or a threat. If there are several groups of sea lions on the beach, and there's some big males, and it looks like they're guarding, um, guarding females, the best thing there is just not to go along that beach. Um, you could get caught up in, in a bit of feuding, um, and to a big sea lion that's got a rival, um, if you're standing in the way, you're just an object. You know, you could quite easily get bowled over or injured, so the best thing is just to, just to not go there.